Hello and welcome to Team VLFI. Uh, today we are going to discuss false path in timing analysis uh, in the series of four topics for interview. Uh, so please like this video and subscribe our channel. Our channel is youtube.com slash team VLFI or, or you can search team VLFI on Google. Uh, so let's begin. So interviewer may ask a question directly uh, like uh, what is false path? or explain false path and a typical answer could be like this a false path is a path that cannot propagate a signal for example a path that could not be activated by any combination of inputs is called a false path and a false path does not require timing analysis and must be excluded from timing analysis uh, and uh, depending on interviewer, uh, they may ask some follow-up questions regarding this. So you need to understand this topic. Uh, so first, we will see some examples where uh, in, in which cases we need to uh, declare false path. Uh, so we will see some uh, short example which is very uh, typical example. Uh, so uh, see here and path between the flops. Uh, and here is the tooth table I have written here. Uh, so first uh, see the outputs of flip-flop 3. Uh, flip-flop 3's, uh, 3's output will be depend uh, will be just propagated the input of flip-flop uh, 3 uh, from the deep, uh, deep in and this deep in's input will depend uh, on the uh, flip-flop 1 and flip-flop 2's inputs and it will be ended flip-flop on and flip-flop 2's output and it will be ended and will go to uh, flip-flop 3's input and it will be out so if we see this uh, truth table then uh, flip-flop 1 and uh, for uh, with respect to flip-flop 1 and flip-flop 2 these uh, four combination of inputs uh, is possible and for that uh, flip-flop 3's input will be uh, if 0 0 then uh, it's simple ending and uh, th th these will be the inputs of flip-flop 3d now talk about uh, flip-flop uh, fourth output uh, will be uh, just uh, move from the uh, flip-flop fourth input and this input will depend on flip-flop 1 and flip-flop 2's inputs uh, so uh, flip-flop uh, so first it will get ended the outputs of the flip-flop 1 and 2 then again uh, the output of flip-flop 2 and output of this AND gate will be odd and move to and uh, will go to the uh, input of flip-flop 4 ok so if we uh, see the truth table here for flip-flop 4th D input we will find this uh, like uh, uh, for 0 0 it will be 0 0 1 it will be 1 and 1 0 it will be 0 and 1 1 it will be 1 and if you analyze this you will find uh, this that uh, this that this input is nothing but it is copied from flip-flop uh, 2d so just input of flip-flop 2 is being copied here you can see here uh, it is not dependent on the flip-flop 1's input you can see here for uh, the uh, flip-flop 2's uh, input is 0 0 in in this or this case and but flip-flop 1's uh, input is changing here uh, it is 0 here and it is 1 here but again output is same 0 and 0 uh, so it is independent of uh, we can say that the output of flip-flop 4 is independent of flip-flop 1's input uh, so we can say that there is a logical path here but output of flip-flop 4 is not depending on flip-flop 1 so we can say this is a false path and we need not to worry about uh, timing checks of this path so we can uh, provide exceptions or we can uh, declare as a false path of this uh, uh, false path from uh, flip-flop 1 to flip-flop 4 okay uh, see another example here 
here is a two marks and uh, uh, marks zero output uh, is goes to the uh, marks once in one input through a combinational logic and both uh, the selection lies is sorted and uh, it is driven by a single select line uh, so uh, th uh, this type uh, this is a architectural false path uh, so you can see here uh, for the uh, the flexion line if if the flexion line is zero then uh, output of this max one will be uh, in zero and uh, if flexion line is one then output of this max will uh, be uh, uh, like this uh, in one max zero in one to combo uh, then going to uh, max one in one and this will go to out okay so uh, for any combination of inputs a uh, path this path uh, that is max 0 in 0 max 0 out uh, this path will not be activated for any combination so there is only two combination is possible for this uh, select line either flag uh, this line will be 0 or 1 if 0 then we have seen uh, uh, this this path is activated if 1 then uh, from starting from here this path will be activated uh, that means for any combinations in zero to out uh, this path will not get activated so again uh, we can set this path as a false path uh, so uh, see one more example here here is uh, uh, flip flop one and flip flop two and flip flop three flip flop two and three is driven by a clock two and flip flop one is driven by a clock one if uh, these two clocks are independent clock uh, then there is no relation between these two clocks and uh, we cannot check the uh, 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 setup time uh, between these two clocks so uh, such such scenario is called clock domain crossing now we will see how uh, to write the uh, STC syntax so uh, where we uh, provide this type of exceptions uh, of false path and definitely we have to provide this in STC file and uh, in STC file we have uh, a specific syntax uh, to write this so syntax is set false path and what it do what it does it specify a false path exceptions and removing paths from timing analysis ok and uh, here is the syntax syntax is in this form set false path then we have to uh, have from then throw then to then set up then hold uh, so in this syntax basically we use from and throw and to and basically we use uh, these uh, uh, switches uh, and here is uh, some example uh, suppose we want to set false path between two unrelated clock as we have seen uh, so uh, syntax would be set false path from get clock uh, uh, suppose clock a and uh, b uh, was two unrelated clock and we want to set false path so clock a to uh, get clocks clock b uh, and uh, set false path between two flops uh, we can uh, set the false path like this way set false path from flip flop one to flip flop two set false path throw a pin so we can write the uh, syntax like, uh, like set false path throw get pins and uh, throw u and z uh, so it will set the false path and uh, any path crossing through uh, this pin will be set as a false path ok uh, so as we have seen uh, the example uh, and we, we want to set false path in uh, like this way so we can write the set false path from flip flop 1 to flip flop 4 simply or uh, in this case uh, we have a uh, a different clock here so uh, set clock path from get clock clock 1 to get clock clock 2 ok uh, we can also provide uh, the uh, false path between flip flop 1 and flip flop 2 uh, but this syntax is more a uh, wider applicability that anywhere in your design uh, clock uh, 1 and clock 2 uh, 
uh, anywhere in uh, your design uh, and there is a path between the clock 1 and clock 2 on driven flops uh, that all the paths will be set as a false path. Uh, but if we mention the uh, flip flop especially flip flop 1 to flip flop 2 then it will be uh, set the uh, false path only for uh, these two flops ok. So thank you, thank you for uh, watching this session, please do like this video and subscribe our channel, thank you.